Well, welcome back, everyone. This is a hard statistic to hear, but children and young adults in our country are suffering from mental health disorders at unprecedented levels now. And today is World Suicide Prevention Day. Dr. James Polo, a child psychiatrist, joins us this morning to kind of shed some light on this one. Uh, so let's just dive right in. Why is it important, do you think, to focus on mental health in children and young adults? Yeah, it's important to remember that children struggle just like adults. They run into problems that are emotionally upsetting to them, and you have to be on the lookout for that and help them and get them to help before they hit moments of crisis. But, doctor, how do you find balance, being a parent that is involved? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you don't want to be in their lives all the time, right? right? You know what I mean? You don't want them to feel like they're overbearing. Yeah. But at the same time, if you think yeah. that there's something going on, how do you even start that conversation? That's, that's a very difficult step to take. Well, it's important to remember that as parents, you've got opportunities to talk to your kids all the time. It doesn't have to be some formal sit down on the way to soccer practice, when they get home, sitting down at dinner, uh, just talking to them, getting them to open up, listening to what they're saying, and, and being non-judgmental, asking them questions. And then as things become apparent that maybe there's something you're worried about, being supportive, reassuring, but then moving in the direction of, of, of looking for professional help if you're concerned as a parent. That's a good point. Get that uh, conversation going. Uh, what is a suicide prevention program, and how can we adapt this into our, our own situations? Yeah, so suicide prevention programs are, are, first of all, about decreasing stigma. Talking about mental health, recognizing that thoughts of suicide are more common than we would like to believe, and getting people out in the open so that they don't feel like they're defective, they don't feel like there's something wrong with them. Asking for help is normal, and if you ask for help and you get help, it's probably going to work. And so it avoids bad outcomes. Dr. Polo, everything that you have mentioned here I think is, is critical in the day-to-day -day of a, a parent and a child relationship. Anything else that you could add? Because especially parents of teens, it's so easy for you to try to have conversations with them when they get home and they'll say, I'm fine, I'm okay. Yes, these are tough right? years when yeah, they're, they're teens. They're tough. So any, any other advice that you could share with yeah. them um, in, in what is a difficult time of life? It's really important for parents to get to know your kids and really kind of what their baseline is. You know, parents will often say, well, my kid's always upset or they never want to talk. And so what I usually tell parents is, well, when you begin to notice that there's something different, they're, they're, they don't want to go to school or they don't want to go to sports activities or they're complaining of stomach aches or headaches or they're just more irritable, they're off somehow from what they're that's when you need to really kind of begin to think about well how do i engage them in a conversation you know providing kids structure and 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 support is really important obviously eating well good nutrition health exercise all those things are important but really what's most important is just talking to your kids all the time but really listening yeah something so simple this is great information where can we go to learn more so you can go online at a couple of places, so NAMI.org, National Alliance for Mental Illness.org. Uh, they provide lots of, uh, of resources, and also Caroline Behavioral Health, the company I work with, um, which provides lots of resources on what to look for, what to be concerned about, and where to go if you think you need help. You know, if you're, if you're struggling with somebody in the moment, though, if you have a child where you're at a point of crisis, you can always call 988. So just like we call 911 for a medical emergency, you can call 988 for a mental health emergency, talk with somebody, chat with somebody, text with somebody in the moment, a behavioral health professional that can give you guidance on what to do. Nine eight eight. Right, and and it's not anything to be ashamed of. It's okay to say, I'm not okay, or my kid's not okay, right. and to seek out help for it, and to go to a trusted professional that that can help you um, through what is a very difficult time. And Dr. Polo, all of this again has been very great information. Thank you so much for discussing what what is right. a very hard topic, but one that we do have to to face, and um, we want to help help our children through it. Thank you. Yeah, great conversation.